back to my title. <coughs> what is the Bible? Um, well, we have a, a divided crowd, I believe. Um, but let's start out with basics. I mean, certainly what we can all agree on, at least, you know, you walk before we run, is that it's a book. You go and you stay at a hotel room. You reach into the sidebar, and what do you find there? The Gideon's Bible. It's a book. You uh, are in court, or maybe if you're President Obama getting sworn in, you have a hand in the Lincoln Bible. It's a book. And what I'm here to tell you today is, uh, no, it's not. Well, let me explain. Um, the word Bible comes from the Greek biblia, which is plural. This has been lost in translation. It's plural. It's the books, the holy books. It's plural. And I really want to tread on this one strongly because it matters that it's plural. It's not one thing. It's not some monolithic, monographic item. It is a collection. <coughs> We have a name for a collection of a whole bunch of works by a whole bunch of different authors. My alma mater, University of Michigan. It's a library. That's, that's the way I want you, at least for the next uh, 35 minutes, to be thinking about the Bible. I, I cannot get away from that word, but I wish I could say something like Bibles or other books of the Bible all the time. I'm going to ask you to help me out here. It's a kind of a library um, because it's the opposite of unity, the opposite of a single work by a single author. We don't know how many authors and editors there were. There were 40, 50, 60, 100, 200. Nobody knows. There's probably no way to discover unless somebody invents a time machine, some modern Archimedes. Um, these authors and editors lived and wrote over a period of nearly a thousand years in multiple lands, in multiple languages. The original that we have of the Hebrew Bible, the New Testament, is written mostly in ancient Hebrew and Greek, but also some parts in Aramaic, as we'll see tonight. So this is not a single thing. It's a collection, a kind of, if you like, library.